Miro is one of the most intuitive and user-friendly softwares I've ever used. But is it powerful enough for managing timelines, teams, and projects? We'll dive into that. But along the way, I've got a bunch of tips and tricks to show you to make your experience using Miro that much better. So let's hop in. So one of the best ways you can show your appreciation for the channel is using the link in the description below to navigate to Miro. Now, once you get logged into Miro, you can sign up using just a Google account. It's gonna bring you to a dashboard like this. It kind of gives you some options of starting from a template or starting from scratch. We're gonna go ahead and just do a blank board and hop right into it. So this is what a blank canvas is gonna look like. I've titled mine Roadmap Planning. So the first thing we wanna do when you're thinking about starting a project, right, you may be wanting to just throw around some ideas. So the best way to do that would be using the sticky note. Click the little icon here, and then you can choose the color of your sticky note. We'll just choose a yellow one, and then we can resize it. Now, as you start typing, it's gonna automatically size your text for you. See how that works, so that's pretty cool. And we can move these around. We can add comments to these. If you have your whole team in here, uh, you know, kind of all working and they're all putting sticky notes on, you may not know who the author is, so you can just check show author and then it will show your name down there. We can add tags onto these. We can insert a link. What I love about Miro is, again, I, I mentioned in the intro how user-friendly and intuitive it, it is. And one of those things is, is making this look nice, right? So sometimes these boards can get sort of crazy and if you're not really careful, they can start to look <laughs> a little disorganized. So Miro has these really nice grid snaps that kind of keep everything looking nice, aligned, and it's a great way to stay organized. All right, so sticky notes are pretty self-explanatory. Let's go a little bit deeper. Let's say you wanted to organize it a little bit more in the form of a mind map. So you can come down here and click the little plus button, and then this brings up where we can search the tools for whatever we're looking for. So here we go, we search for mind map and we've got that. Now we can, it'll give us sort of a starting point. I kind of like this one. And then it adds it right onto our board for us. Now we can start the ideation process here. A new new shoe idea, or the lace is gonna look like. I don't use these too much to be honest, but uh, I do think it's a good way to kind of visually capture ideas, you know, figuring out different things that need to be thought about in the design process. So the sole, sole of the shoe, things like that. So you get the idea here. That's an easy way to bring in a mind map and start doing that. Now, the next one that I'm really excited about, and I'm sure you are too, as far as project management, is the, the timeline aspect. So what we wanna do here, if you click back into the plus bar, you can see that we can add a timeline. So go ahead and click that. And then you've got the little icon, just click it wherever you want it to land, all right? And it does kind of build it out a little bit, you know, it kind of gives you like a sort of a starting point to go from. Now, what I think is really powerful when it comes to doing tasking, and this is the first trick, okay? From the homepage, if you come in here and click on roadmap planning, it will automatically create that synced view for you. And it inserted it in here. This is kind of the way to get around it in the free version, okay? And then all you have to do is build it out. So you don't need the paid version to do this or to try it for the first time, okay? So basically what that does is now we have a timeline. So we've got it displayed like a timeline, like you would typically see a project. But then we also have this table view, which gives us a little bit more detail and insight into the different tasks, okay? So it's grouped based off of the group number for our, for our particular things, right? We've got our start date, our end date. We can even add in a priority if we wanted to. This kind of helps with statusing. You can change these too. You can add more fields if you want, more columns. You can change these to say that, you know, this is like, like a cost estimate or a labor estimate, right? You can, you can kind of update that. And then we can add our assignees if you were working on this with multiple people in a team. And then we, you can add a little description. So this is kind of how it works. Um, if you wanted to add a record over here, I'll kind of show you what happens on the other side. So now we have design phase three. We'll go ahead and pick a date. This is gonna start on the 14th and it will go. Okay, so now we've added that over there and here's design phase, can I do three? Well, I'll show you another trick then. Now that they're synced views, right? We just add design phase three and now we got design phase three here. Pretty cool and then what I love about the timeline view is it's really easy to move, move things around. If I decided that oh, I got a day in here that I am wasting, right? Well, I'll bring that over just kind of drag and drop it. And then, well, maybe it's not gonna take me that long. I'll bring this in a little bit and it will over here change our dates for us. And again, being super user-friendly, it's just, you see what you wanna do and you can pretty much do it. Now, the one other cool thing that we can do is we can also add a, oh, 
Okay, so here's the other cool thing. So basically, when it comes to project management, there's three basically ways to display it, right? You've got the, the table view, which is like the most detail. Um, you've got the timeline view. And then also we can come in here, go to layout and say Kanban. And now we've got a Kanban board, different sort of visual snapshot of the tasks, where they are in progress, see who's assigned to them quickly. It's it's another good way of kind of this. I know a lot of companies like to work in the Kanban format, but now you've got all three, right? You can see it from a timeline perspective where we're at in terms of dates. And we can get a little bit more detail over here in the table view. You know, the Kanban view is actually a nice way of, of you know, sort of presenting out to leadership where you're at on a project. So that is kind of it in a nutshell, guys. It's it's really a powerful way, but it's simple, right? It's not it's not the dauntingness of Microsoft Project. And granted, it doesn't bring with it all of those features. It is very feature rich though to it to get started and to manage projects um, really from simple to fairly complex. If you do have any questions or comments, guys, something you want to see, go ahead and leave that in the below. Appreciate you sticking around and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one.